Robert Palmer at number 21 on my fancy playlist, December 22nd, 1990. I had almost forgotten about this record. I remember watching it on, watching a video on MTV, You're Amazing by Robert Palmer. It's from his 10th solo album called Don't Explain. Several people wrote this record. Actually, about four or five people pitched in on this record. A couple of them was a guy named Steve, Stephen Fellows. He was in a band called the Con, Consat Angels. Comsat Angels, and also Steve Stevens pitched in on this record, guitarist for uh, Billy Idol. So I went to number 28 on Billboard's Hot 100. This uh, fell far short of some of his previous hits. Uh, oh gosh, what is the song they did back in 1979? Doctor, Doctor, give me the news. I got a, I got a bad case of loving you back in the summer of 79. That was his, probably his first really big hit. Addicted to Love, produced by Bernard Edwards back in 1986. Bernard Edwards of Chic, which went to number one on Billboard's Hot 100. And there was uh, Simply Irresistible. As a matter of fact, You're Amazing is probably sort of a reworked version of Simply Irresistible. Simply Irresistible was just a great, just a barn burner rock and roll classic. You're amazing doesn't quite approach that status. It's, a, it's got some great guitar riffs. It's 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 got some hot licks in this record that rumble through this record. Rumble like an earthquake. 7.0 on the Richter scale. But it just doesn't shake you up enough to say, hey, this is a number one. It wasn't. But still a decent rock and roll record. Heck. Had it up to number 21 on my fancy playlist back in late December 1990. Robert Palmer started out in a band. Well, the second band that he was in was called Finnecker Joe. This was in the early 70s. Finnecker Joe, based in England, uh, signed with Island Records. They put out three albums but didn't do anything. They were crit critically acclaimed, but they were not commercially successful. That happens a lot in the music field. You'll put out some albums that the critics say, hey, this is great. You people need to listen to this. This is, got, this is art. But it just doesn't sell for various reasons, lack of promotion, or maybe it just doesn't connect with the audience. But uh, 1974, they were an R&B band, R&B bass band. Finnecker Joe. But then in 1974, Robert Palmer signed with Island Records as a solo artist. His first album was produced in New Orleans, backed up by the legendary house jazz fusion band The Meters. The song was called Sneaking Sally Through the Alley. Uh, the album was called that. Seems like I remember Ringo Starr did a song called Sneaking Sally Through the Alley. <laughs> Oh, well. Anyway, that was his first album produced in New Orleans. It came out in 1974. His first really, well, I guess his first big album was Double, oh gosh, I screwed it up. I can't read my chicken scratch. Double Fun. That's the name of the album, Double Fun. It's just, this is what, I, this is what my notes look like. <laughs> I need to start typing them out. Double Fun. Now, this, this, here's the thing about Double Fun. This is when I first heard of Robert Palmer. Station down in Montgomery played the song Everyday People back in the spring of 1978. Had that calypso sound to it, which I said, man, this is kind of, this is neat. Kind of like Harry Bal Balafonte back in the day. And uh, that was his first really, uh, I guess his first American hit per se, top 40 American hit. And then Bad Case of Love and You back in the summer of 1979 put him on the map right there. Well, at number 21, Robert Palmer. Lost 45. You're amazing. Fantasy Playlist, December 22nd, 1990.